What do I even want from Sweden? Well, I want the rest of his... Uh... I want Dallas Kurgan. That's what I want. And I want his fucking forts. That's what I want. Preference here. Or the Gorgalore here. I really want to take this fort though. That's gonna look so ugly if I take this. Let's forgo Gotland here for a second. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Right, this guy's really old. I'm not gonna keep him. Why do I keep electing? Uh, shouldn't keep electing those guys. <laughs> Take his entire coast. Yeah, that'll show him. <laughs> That's good. I don't need to be paying for my troops. And you know what? Fuck these sports. I'm not gonna be paying for them either. Stupendously expensive, and as I say that, the thingy guys land. Alright, we don't need to be paying for the soups, but we are going to be paying for the forts. At least some of them. Yeah, we're a sinner. Catholics never really like communists anyway. Ottomans and Great Britain. Texas either. I want my monarch points, man. Oh, what? Really? I lost that? Unbelievable. Somebody's getting fired. What's your name? Oh, Dennis. Dennis Vengerude. That is unacceptable. How did you lose that? Not Novgorod separatists uh, keeping strong with the high shock generals. <laughs> And uh, the, the, the stupid nobles and the thingies are rising. How do you- you don't even have nobles anymore. What the balls? How do you still have a noble rebellion? Didn't you put them all on the chopping block? Ah, damn it. never gonna get them to be happy.
half measured revolutionaries. See, we did it right. We killed all the nobles. There are no nobles in our country. Alright, Canada's almost so low. Come on! There you go. We still need to peace out Mali though. But Mali's almost a low anyway. You don't want the bourgeoisie happy anyway. Uh, that's true. Who needs an economy? Alright, one more month, and we can be up Molly. <sighs> Rebels in occupied territory are the greatest things alive. Rebels in occupied territory are the most fantastic thing in this game. <laughs> so then do we want to fire some idiot? Ah, oh, he died. Well... At least he he knew it was coming. He knew it was going to get purged. Okay. I don't know how I only have eighty three percent, but it doesn't matter. Okay. So. We want to go fight the Russians. It's going to get us into a war with GB though. Jesus Christ. I didn't sign up for this. sign up for this at all. Who else are you allied with? Austria! Oh god damn. Yeah, and we're not on Tech 24. What we can do is go to eat Denmark. That saves us about five dockets a month. And am I embargoing Britain? I don't think I am, because we lost the war, didn't we? No, we didn't. Well, I'm not embargoing him, because he did lose the war before then. I should be embargoing, embargoing him, because he's taking away all of my trade money. And, and these forts are... going down the drain. Thirty-two dockets instead of fifty-two. It doesn't look like the burgers are going to get happy anytime soon. I could give them more land, but then they'd instantly get upset again. So how much am I making here? Zero point twenty-five. Spy detection, counter espionage. Wow. if I want to get rid of these. Oh, I do kind of. I'd like to state this land, but it'd be pointless. It's lagging? Mm, not sure why that is. 
Well, that's happening. I really need more money, man. This is so sad. <laughs> Well, that and the corruption is kind of screwing us over right now. Got some mission to get the one to crush Denmark. Yeah, maybe. Even then, I mean, the trade power going into this is just so small. Why is that truce over with the coalition, by the way? Because I can see Thingy joining that. Next year. And we won't have a CV on him. Because he's counter espionaging us. Uh, we're not getting anywhere near that force limit. I could cancel it, but then we won't be able to get it back on time. I don't think. So that's a bit of a problem. Yeah, we're not sure how we're going to deal with this. Well, this is nice. <clears throat> How big does my army need to be? 75%. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting this. And there's no way this guy is not going to join the coalition. <laughs> Well, GG. Uh, he might not, he might not, we'll see. Yeah, they're for sure gonna form the coalition again. Britain can't join though. Oh, so much for that idea. I know, Bruni. I know, Bruni. But we don't want those policies. We don't want the policies you think we're going to get. Uh, those are... Those are definitely not the policies we are looking for... ...today. So if I don't fight this coalition, I have to fight this coalition. Because otherwise he's not going to leave me alone. Maybe we can get the burgers to make you happy for a quick second. There you go. They're happy. Now, how much of a difference does that really make? Yeah, it it goes back to 52. Fantastic. Alright, let's uh, pay for our forts. This might increase my trade power even more. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. How about we embargo Austria as well? And who else is my rival? Milan. I'm not sure if I want to embargo Milan. I'm not even sure if I want Milan to be my rival right now. So I'm going to remove them and instead select Russia. And then we're going to embargo Russia instead. There we go.
Yeah, I'm just gonna declare war on top of Austria, that's fine. It'll be a coalition war, but, uh... Maybe we want to do it differently. Maybe we want to declare war on an ally of him. Nah, no, we can't, we can't do any of that nonsense. We just have to declare war on top of him. What's your tech? 24, 24. Okay, fantastic. We can't go fight Russia. If we fight Russia, the coalition will declare and stab us in the back. So we have to go fight this now. Change religion to orthodox for accuracy? No, we'd have to change to no religion for that. <coughs> <clears throat> but I've got a better idea what religion we're going to switch to. Because uh, no religion... I wouldn't want to say it's impossible, but I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Here we go, level 8 forts. So we need 25,000 cannons for that. Let's put that focus back onto military. I'm afraid we really are going to need to pick up uh, economic. We might even be forced to pick up trade. I don't want to though. I really don't want to. But it might help us out more than the other ideas that I wanted to pick. So who are you at war with here? Although, you know, if we just take a huge chunk out of Austria, you never know. I think he might just go disloyal, Spain, and declare an independence war. That'd be nice. This guy's good, so I'm keeping him. Um, I say that, but I kind of want the military guy. No, I'm keeping him. As far as these rebellions go, can I just like increase the autonomy and just not have it fire? Yeah, we could even do statify, raise autonomy, raise autonomy, raise autonomy, statify, raise autonomy, unstatify, unstatify. Let's see here, where's the other rebellions? It's gonna happen up here. Well, I might want to statify and actually core this because it is gonna help me out quite a bit. So let's just do that. I still want to raise the autonomy there though. Vastresvelent. Uh, it's Vestersvelent. No, it's Estre. Okay, well, whatever. Hello, rebellions. I'm assuming this is the same state. It is. Hey, where, there's the final thing. There you go. And then there's the one thing down here. Yeah, I think we are going to need to pick up economic. Uh, that sucks. Perfect. I already embargoed to England.
Yeah, you do have to use console for it. I mean, we still could have done it. I wonder what would happen if we created a custom nation on that island, though. Because we might have... We might get, uh... <laughs> we might get, a uh, thingy for that. I mean, um... No religion if we do that. I doubt it, though. I think we're... I think it switches you to Totemist if you do that. So did I? Yeah, I did. I took this. Shouldn't have done that. Oh, well. A little bit of tactics at this point in the game really doesn't make a difference. Can I change the capital of Ak... Dissident to... Arundal and rename it to Glorious Netness Umt. There you go. Netness Umt. You have to choose a starting religion. No, but it picks one for you automatically though, right? If you select a province, it automatically selects the thing and then you you have to pick it. Sure, but... Also, I, I do kind of want to know when this is going to run out. Okay, two years from now. Could rename Friesland to Drenthe. No, I would have to rename the Helra to uh, to Drenthe. I mean, it's basically like all of Drenthe is in Helra. Oh God, this might be bad. Depending on whether or not he retreats. Okay. Netanus. Okay. Yeah, if only we could make thingy disloyal, Spain. It will default to Animus, I believe, but the thing is, though you have more than one province and no religion provinces and no capital, and then it won't get your culture, but it will get your religion. Okay. Yeah, if that we just have to use console if we wanted to do a no religion run. We could, but we we would have to use console. Spain is under a PU under uh, Austria. They almost got into uh, into a PU under uh, the Commonwealth because they declared a war of. Um... Are you retreating into Vienna? Be weird if you did. No, I stopped. Because the Commonwealth declared a succession war, but they uh, they they won it, but they didn't ask for the union to get cancelled. Neither did they ask for uh, the union to be transferred over to them. They just. They just asked for some more rep and... and left. <laughs> yeah, I can do it, but there's more that I want to do than just forming Russia. I want to go for the memes, man. The memes. And for the memes, we need a little bit more than just forming Russia.
And we also must have... Uh, humanist, exploration, defensive... I believe some other crap as well. We can have two ideas that we don't actually need. But we must have exploration and we must have quality. So if I want to pick economic, then we're gonna need to ditch influence. So it's like exploration, economic trade, but uh, I don't want to get trade and economic first. And then maybe ditch it later, but then, you know, where am I gonna get the points I need? It's difficult. Oh, Portugal's a medium. Might be able to kick them out of the war soon. Yeah, economic for the bigger loans would be very useful right now. Economic ideas is filthy capitalism? No, man. It's not. It's seizing the means of production. You bet the Commonwealth is number one. Uh, also... Let's get that back. Uh, where do we check that? Country? Army losses. It is the Ottomans at 8.7 million. And then there's France at 6. Commonwealth at 5.3 and us at uh, This is quite shit, actually, because uh, the Commonwealth is sitting on medium, and I don't know why. Because Commonwealth military strength. Yeah. Come on, Commonwealth. We're getting there. That's definitely one too many guys. Nope. You could go grab the war goal. That seems like a good idea. If we get some ticking war score on our side, Commonwealth is going to be less likely to want to leave. That might work. We can also get our ass out of our hat and uh, get up to force limit. You done goofed. He retreated before it became a problem for him. At least he's going to kick his Vorskar out. I mean, make sure that he doesn't have a uh, ticking.
he just added in a couple guys. So he didn't stack wipe it. Now you have to go help out in this battle. Yeah, because uh, it's going to give us 18 war score. Hell, that might even be enough to peace out to uh, Portugal. But we have to keep sieging it down, though. What's their army size versus mine? Uh, they outnumber us by quite a bit. But Britain is on their side, so... Sucks to be them, am I right? This Britain isn't going to do anything. There you go, plus 18. It's barely keeping them uh, over the top there. Can't you just go disloyal? No. There's no way. There's no way he's going disloyal anytime soon. You go. Well, oh, he's sitting at six. If we can siege down whatever he's got over here, it might be all right. Yeah, because they lost a lot of troops. Yeah. Britain is the greatest non-factor alive, and so is uh, the colonial nations that all of these people have, and they have quite a lot of those. So. Commonwealth or medium, though. They, like we really need to get war scores so that you're winning a war, that we're winning the war, and then Commonwealth is going to keep getting more enthusiasm. Commonwealth military strength, though. Particles and low. Bye bye. We lost a million men already in this war. Jesus Christ. Oh shit. Tyrol got unseached. That's really bad. That's really fucking bad. We need to go siege this up again. Because, uh, oh boy. <laughs> That is upsettingly bad. He peaced out. He fucking peaced out. Oh boy, he peaced out, and he wouldn't have. He wouldn't have if he, if we had the stupid fucking siege. Oh, you're kidding. Oh, that is bad. Yeah, guess uh, we're all alone now. I shouldn't have let them siege this up. There, there was no way I could prevent him from doing that. And yeah, we've taken out the war goal now, but... Uh, yeah. I 
Well, at least Spain is not getting access. Huh? You know, there is that. Let's look at the positives there. Look at the... Oh, look, a bird. No, 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 no. No, I'm not birding. Spain doesn't even get access. Oh, how bad is it gonna be? 